Am I awake? Yes. Have I had coffee? No. Uh, does that impede on my humanity? Absolutely. Here's the thing, you guys. There is absolutely, concretely, a such thing as accidentally cosplaying as Shrek. You guys, we're vlogging today and it feels new and fresh and interesting. Um, it feels low-key terrifying, I don't know why. Should I rejoin you when I have coffee so that my eyes are open? Let's get coffee first and then we'll talk. Decided to go pirate instead of Shrek um, for the good of the people, you know? For the good of society, mankind, humankind. Um, we're gonna get that coffee cracking and become our fullest, truest, best self. I'm really excited for that. This vlog, by the way, if you are looking for some sort of point, uh, purpose, um, some sort of focus, I don't know that you're gonna get that, very honestly. I don't know that that's in your, you know, in the cards for you, but here we are, nonetheless. You guys, this is the best coffee creamer. It's from Trader Joe's, I'm obsessed with it. It's really all I use. I got a little dress today because um, it's gonna be super hot. I needed to feel like I wasn't wearing much. I didn't quite feel like wearing a dress actually to go dress shopping because I feel like all of my super easy, super thin, cozy dresses, I've worn them to death and they're like starting to fall apart. But yeah, this two piece set I got from Fashion and Figure randomly. It sold out, I think, right away. But I like that the pants are like stretchy, but they have a little bit of a detail. This thing is like a flouncy floop, you know? And then I'm just wearing a bra under. About to make this coffee. Lego. It's okay to thrive, they said. It's okay to thrive. Okay, you guys, let's get into it. Um, feel a little like, I'm a little off today. I know that. Um, I know that part of the reason why I feel a little emo and off. It is my mom's birthday. And I wanted to share that because I don't want you guys to go off in the comments about, you know, your condolences and all that shit. Like, I just don't want that. So please try to reframe. But I get so many questions about how to deal with grief. And this is like, you literally never get over it. Um, life does, does go on. You There is bright lights, but there's always gonna be tough days. And so I just don't want you guys to think that I'm always just like super sunny, always chipper. My life is perfect, that is not the case. I have hard days and hard stuff that I deal with and um, I share it in the doses in which I care to share because I think boundaries are also super important. And I get dress.com slash merch. Um, I think I'm gonna do, am I doing fat icon or boobies? I feel like it's like a boobies day. Do you hear that? That's our coffee. Oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> we did it. I'm so excited for us. It's a little too hot to drink still. Don't want to burn yourself. So, um, we're in my office. There's a lot of stuff out because I have mucho work to do. Um, I decided I think I want to just eat my breakfast at my desk because I love sitting here. What are my thoughts? I was actually just watching Monroe do a vlog and it also low-key inspired me. She wasn't doing anything. She was just pottering around the house. She went and got a facial. But I missed my friend and I like loved watching her <laughs> just do nothing. And I thought maybe I have friends who miss me too. You guys, do you want to just like hang out with me? Over yonder's way, just there, is a bunch of stuff that I need to shoot. So this is from my friend Grace's Amazon Drop Collection. She is a thin blogger who has been of an inclusive mind for a very long time. She's done a lot of really dope, uh, like I guess, what's the word? You know, when people care about other people? you know, that kind of work. <laughs> um, so this shirt is a 3X, it fits me super well. It's so soft and comfortable. Um, that guy, that little Paisley situation is my friend Ashley's collection, this pretty little boho skirt. I wanna have like a very 70s moment. Um, this, if you follow me on IG, I'll pop in a photo. There's a photo of me in a leopard kind of robe in Palm Springs. That company saw me in it and they offered to give me that one. And then these little dupes over here, are some indie designers. So I'm actually gonna do a haul of those for y'all. That's kind of some of the work that I'm gonna do today. 
And, um, oh my gosh, you know how we have sake? There was Weasel Gate because it's Weasel Coffee. Now we have Raccoon Gate and Crow Gate. Let me fill you in. Crow Gate, first of all, one of y'all told me, I think on IG, about how crows have facial recognition in their DNA. They hold grudges in their DNA. They can pass their grudge with you down to their children. Like, this is not the kind of stuff that I need to hear because LA has a ton of crows. There's crows on like a telephone wire thing across the street from my house. And now that this one tree is called Permisium, Persimium, whatever, hold on, it's this guy. Look at this tree. Those little yellow fruits, um, they're like orangey, whatever. They love that tree. So every day at dinner time, essentially around 5.30, from 5.30 to 6, it is Crow Village over here. Like I'm scared to be in my yard. They are nuts. And also because of this tree and probably because of the fires in LA um, and in all throughout California, a lot of the wildlife is probably like displaced and traumatized and whatnot. Now there's this family of raccoons that come when those fall and they're eating them. And I'm just like, so now I'm throwing them over the gate. Like here y'all, here's your food. You don't even have to come into my yard. All the fallen is over there. So it's been a lot, it's been wild. Squirrel Gate, I think y'all know about Squirrel Gate. I have a wild, crazy maniac squirrel who, you know, some squirrels are cute and you know, just sort of passive. This dude is a maniac. He will literally jump from the roof to the tree, which is far. And I was like, great, I'm so proud of you that you can like jump that far. But he flings himself so far with such aggression and such like precision that I'm just literally waiting for him to fling himself out of a tree and land on my face. Like, it's not okay. It's not okay. So that's the wildlife segment of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. So I spent the last couple of hours on that app House Party. Not an ad, but wish it was because I use it all the time. So my sister and her best friends use it all the time and I love just like busting into their parties. <laughs> so I hung out with them for a while, um, but I realized I forgot I wanted to show you this jacket because I feel like it might sell out and you probably want to see it. So I'm going to show you now. So this fringe jacket, look at these fringy dupes. Like, are you kidding me? so good um i'm wearing the 3x which is a 24 so it fits comfortably it would close but in a very like snug way um the arms have stretch like the back has a little bit of stretch so it's very comfortable the fringe is such a vibe there's fringe across the back notice my sofa's gone she's coming back tomorrow i'm very excited to have her back in my life but yeah overall this jacket is amazing fringe on the bottom Fringy frams, fringy dupes, phalange frams, whatever you like to call your fringe. And yeah, it's super cute. So I wanted to just share this with y'all. I got it in the mail as a gift. Um, I will link it below. Who am I kidding? I have to show you one more thing. Y'all, this white dress, it's so sweet and cute. I'm dying. This is so cute. So I'm not wearing a proper bra. This is like this little meshy thing. So I think if I have a real bra, this won't get, but I'm also not sure. It might just be a little bit too tickle bitty for the dress. Long sleeve, comfortable. Uh, the, the button's open, so I guess, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could probably just do like an open bodice thing. It's pretty cute though. So this is a 3X and it's a 22, 24, I believe. If you are a smaller, busted 24 or you're a size 22, this 3X is gonna be perfect for you. And it'll probably be even more swingy here, but as y'all know, I have big boobs and across my back, there's like a lot of flesh there. I don't know, I'm into this. I'll try it on with a real bra and see if that's better. And I'll let you guys know, but I'll link this below as well. Hilarious, when you accidentally do a try on haul just because you're curiously trying things on. So this sweater is from the same collection. It does button, of course, all the way. I just did one for cuteness. Can I button with one hand? Am I one of those people? Like an advanced human? Okay, there it is. Yeah, so it's like this cropped cardigan. You know, I've been like super light on cardigans and wanting more. Um, this is a little crop situation. It's gray. It's very cute. I feel like this is a vibe with like a skirt over a dress with some jeans. Could be cute, I'll link this one too. We like it. And of course, like again, you can see I'm not wearing like a real bra. I'm wearing like this little stretchy nothing. But with a real bra and your boobs in the right place, life 
can drive. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. One more thing from that collection is this t-shirt. And I love just a slubby white t-shirt. It's super soft. I like this cuff here. This is also really cute. Over here, friends, over here is a bag of stuff that I have collected. And it's for my Poshmark. Now that I have a printer, oh my God, a printer. I can resume doing Poshmark orders and I have someone to like actually help me make sure I send them out on time. So if you're not already following my Posh Poshmark, it's just, I think it's, it's me, Kelly B. I'll put the link below so that you can check that out as well. Lots of things to check out, you guys. I mean, we are productive. I just ordered Malaysian string beans because that felt really important. And I feel like I'm gonna eat like this little late lunch, continue to chill. The heat has turned up in here. A lot of places around here don't have air conditioning. My house does not have AC. And normally, no problem. Uh, when it's a heat wave, such as today, I think it's like 90 degrees or something, it's outrageous. So I'm quite warm. And I think I'm actually gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'm just doing work at my desk. I just sent out my newsletter, which is also linked below. I'm just like updating you guys. I have been working. There are ways to see and contact me outside of YouTube, though we're back on our YouTube grind. The videos will be up every week, but uh, I just sent out my newsletter all about the comfy clothes from the last video or the one that's coming, no, the last video. I'm just about to do some administrative work and plan out some shoots that I have for sponsored content that are coming up and that's it. Thanks for watching y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for keeping me company. Um, yeah, it was a good day. Good day. You guys were there for me and I really appreciate you. Oh, my string beans are here. Gotta go. Love you, mean it. Bye.